Hi, Stuart here at HobbyKing.com, back once again for another daily. Uh, now, I usually say our dailies are very, very special, and indeed they are. This one's extra specially special, because at the end of this daily, we've got the first report from our guys that are out in Ceph. Uh, we've got Hobby King at Ceph in Georgia. A uh, big, big electric uh, flying event, and if you're any interested in electric flight you, and you're in the Georgia area, be sure to check it out, and be sure to check out Hobby King there. Uh, but anyway, on with the daily. Um, for today's daily, it is a very, very nice uh, Bolsa ARF of this Tiger Moth here. 1700 millimeter, uh, both electric and glow powered options. Now we're very pleased with this model and we think you will be too. Uh, as I mentioned, it is an ARF, so there is some construction involved. Uh, there is, of course, a detailed instruction manual for that. But what makes this Tiger Moth particularly special is that uh, you can use both uh, gas or electric power. When I, when I say gas, I'm talking up to a 20cc gas or petrol engine. Uh, you could even use a 90 to 120 size four stroke glow engine uh, or a 60 to 65 millimeter brushless outrunner uh, running on a six cell LiPo. Now the detail of this Tiger Moth is just superb. Not only does it come pre-covered in this very nicely applied covering uh, with a spray uh, camo spray finish, uh, also, all the rigging wire is included as you see here. Uh, what you don't see on the towel, but what is included, is the pawpaw -paw system, not only for the rudder, but for the elevator as well, so a very scale set up there. Now, servo-wise on this beautiful looking model, uh, if you are running the gas or glow version, you will need five servos, that extra servo being for the uh, throttle on the carburetor. Uh, if you are running the electronic version, of course, you just need four. Uh, those four are two on the ailerons, one on the elevator, and one on the rudder. Now the speed controller, you well, we would recommend anything from a 65 right up to a 90 amp speed controller, uh, the 60 to 65 millimeter brushless outrunner, and a, a six cell LiPo, anything from four to 5,000 uh, would easily fit in the removable uh, cockpit as you see here. That's your access for the battery. Now I'm just gonna remove the cow so you can see the firewall and also just how well this cow is made. This is a glass fiber unit as you can see there. So it's uh, got a lot of strength but it's also got a very nice finish and uh, a nice scale profile too. Uh, you'll see the blank firewall here. In the box you get mounted accessories for both a uh, nitro and for electric uh, motor option. Um, so very, very versatile this model. Uh, looking a little further around the model, you see you've got the uh, very nice uh, fuel tank at the top here. That's a very nice scale detail. The rigging wire, as I mentioned, all supplied. The struts, all pre-painted as they should be. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the undercarriage here with the wheels included. Uh, so all in all, a very, very nice package. Excellent, excellent quality. And of course, as you'd expect from Hobby King, it, it will be up on the site at a great, great price. Uh, this is not on the site yet. It will be on the site very, very shortly in the next few days. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to uh, click on the link below. When this product is live, that will take you directly to that product listing. If you're watching our homepage, just click on the video that you're watching it from, and it will again take you straight to the product listing once that's live. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Matt with Hobby King here at CEF Week, the Southeast Electric Flying Festival in beautiful Americas, Georgia. Join us throughout the week as we bring you information on new products and events here and everything else that's going on. Stay tuned. One of the big highlights of CEF is the air-to-air -air combat that they put on. In 1998, they actually set a record for the most RC planes in the sky at the same time. Not that many folks here yet today, so I don't think it's going to be that intense. But if they'll let me, I'm going to grab my wing wing and uh, get into the uh, combat action now. Check it out. <laughs> 